When we had last left V, she got in a tank and blew up a whole bunch of dudes. And then Saul promoted Panam to the leader of the Aldecaldos Nomad Gang. And then also she grabbed a kidney and brought it back to some dude. It, the cops showed up and it was no good, but killed them. Killed them all. <laughs> they got the kidney. And some firmware to make the kidney not inject a deadly neurovirus or whatever. <laughs> this is Cyberpunk 2077. Welcome back. Let's get on out of here. Right. Well, let's not just yet. We're nearby some some side quest stuff, and there's actually no fast travel point near here. Yeah, you know, look, there's kind of like a dead zone right here of fast travel points. What's up with that? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. All right, yeah, let's do them. Let's do some of them. All right, Agent Saboteur over there. We could also hit up one of these Assault some Progress lower tier ones, but I think we'll do this since it's right over there. There we go. Oh, also, invested points. Let's see. I think I did... Yeah, I maxed this out. Upon entering combat, crit chance increases by 50% for 7 seconds. Pretty wild, especially considering the time slow. This landing a crit has a 25% chance of applying a stack of cold blood, which is just, in general, pretty good. I wonder if that's, if that also synergizes really well with shotguns, right? Like if, like does every pellet have a different chance to crit? I don't know. Cause like if, or even if it doesn't, if, if a shotgun blast crits and, and, and every pellet crits, would I get a stack for each pellet? I wonder. Okay. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if it's on a per pellet basis. Because that would be wild with, like, pretty much any shotgun, right? Especially combined with this, where a crit chance is increased by 50% upon entering combat. That basically means, like, as soon as we enter combat, we get a full stack of cold blood. Assuming you use a shotgun, right? Which, you know what? This is really tempting me. <laughs> this is really tempting me. Maybe there's, like, an internal cooldown on this? I don't know. You would assume it would... Well, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't assume in this game. <laughs> I would It's safe to assume that it, would, that it wouldn't say one way or the other. Okay. And then also... Whoops. Over here in body, I think it was. Now, Annihilation, maybe? Or Athletics. Oh, over here, yeah. Health regen. Increased by 30% while in combat. Seems nice. Okay, let's go over here. I don't even know if we need our vehicle for this, but... Yeah, look. We may just be able to jump over right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see, we got a saboteur, sabotage something. Now look. They've got the no easy access stuff. Yo, V. Check it. There's a site on the net out to smear the mayor. Well, then hold. Well acting mayor, because, you know, he's up for re-election or whatever. Oh, shit. Sure, politics, am I right? Mudslinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info. Okay, great. Gig type. Agent Saboteur, objective, bring down propaganda machines slandering Weldon Holt. Location, garage on Oak Street. Details. Like, I don't know enough about I, any of the politicians, right? I remember that one guy who was on, like, that commercial ad seemed like a complete jackass. But I don't know, like... <laughs> like I don't know shit. I don't know shit. Like, is Weldon Holt an asshole? Was he that prick on the commercial? I don't remember. Anyway. Politics. Only thing slimier than the thongs at Licks. At least corpos usually tell you to your face how they're going to screw you in the end. Fake smiles, impossible promises, shameless pandering. All foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay them so Wow! We're back to old cyberpunk, huh? Everything's just horny as shit. Jesus. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I hate it. 
<laughs> I, I hate it when it gets this way, right? A lot of the early game was like this, and I, it feels like, you know, every so often it comes back, right? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, all foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay themselves for it with eddies out of your wallet. It's in their nature. And what's in ours? Blowing shit up. Got just such a gig for you this time. Sixth Street's got a stiffy Jefferson Perales. So they have these servers pumping out anti-Holt propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayor as like the second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit. Here to unite the city with Noosa. Naive gonks. TLDR, my client wants Sixth Street's propaganda machine gone. Simple. Oh, so Perales backs Sixth Street like publicly? Here to unite the city with the Noosa. Hmm. No. Not necessarily, it's just that, that 6th Street enjoys Jefferson Perales. Okay. Yeah, I, I really don't know enough about them, right? But nonetheless, it doesn't seem like we're going to have much of a choice, we're just going to do this work. Okay. Oh god. Let's see... over here... Should we just go in here loud? Like, I feel like the monetary reward for going in quiet is like nothing compared to just just beating ass you know and collecting all the woot loot you can't just buy tech like this shit you're even more fucking naive than the bone brains voting for halt the smalls out of production they toss these in for any cuz they know that one jam huh is it over here the servers? I don't think so. Right? I feel like we're in, like, prime areas for uncovering where it may be. Like, you know, if we really want to find it, it would be a building with extra amounts of cooling, right? But they all kind of have, like, heavy-duty cooling here, right? So it's hard to say. Okay. What are these little, like, blue units? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm like super tempted to just get up in there. Let's see. We can probably go around this way. Yeah, look at all that. Huh. Maybe that's the route. If we want to try and remain undetected. But I'm not really convinced that's the best thing to do, you know? Okay. Oh shit. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Alright, we got everybody. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Let's get down there. Let's see. It's going around this way. We want to, like, weed them out. Don't give up! That guy just, like, did not register. <laughs> Whew! Look at these fucking dudes! They sure did run real fast right into my fucking fist. I'm out here shooting quicker than the gun can render. Gotcha. I think that person's fucking toast. Let's see, there's a few other folks around here. I think we can just run over here. Gotcha. Good. Oh, look, there's someone way down that way. What is this? Oh, this is a person. I thought you were another turret. Come on! Okay. Let's grab this fucking thing. Give it a rip. There we go. Shoot me with, like, some explosive bullet. I think this, uh, HMG has, like, splash damage on it? I'm not sure. There we go. You bitch! They don't deserve to die! How much does my gun bash do? Not much at all. It doesn't even seem to make them react. 
Either that or they were already in an animation. Let's heal up here. <laughs> Fucking A. Alright, great. Let's see. Turn off this thing, I guess. How many bullets I got left? Like a hundred. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Let's take your shit. Alright. Let's see. Let's run around, grab all these, I guess. Oh, look! Huh. I wish you could, like, quick compare with my currently equipped weapon, you know? I mean, I'll use it. There we go. I, I was more curious about, like, the pellet count. You know? Okay. Oh, look, some lore. What is this? NCPD Anatomy of a Disaster. I wonder if we've read that. I'm kind of interested in reading it. Right? There we go. Especially given our most recent side quest outing. Okay, over here. There we go. Grab your junk. Good. Well, not like that. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Over here. Components? No! Shoes! With little spikes on them. Okay. Go. Let's order a burrito and eat that up. There we go. Perfectly vertical gun. All right. Can turn this thing off. Get some XP. Nope. Can't do it while I'm holding a bod. Okay. Dot you. Good. Okay. Lovely. So here's our server unit. Is this them? They're cubes? <laughs> Is this some Borg shit going on? <laughs> what the fuck are these? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Archive conversation between Jordan M. and Dustin. Give it a read. That Kang shard figured it out. What's on it? Schematics. Iron? Smart iron. Prototypes already checked. Not on the market. Then time to buzz Militech, see how many eddies they were sitting we're sitting on. Alright. Let's use this before we install the malware. Anything interesting? An order from Mark J. Habasiewicz Habesiewicz to Zach Ginther. Hello, this message is to inform you that order number yada yada shipped this morning. And to remind you that any improper use or storage of the Ms. Bravo 773 server systems will immediately void the terms of your warranty. As per your request, the service package has been cancelled, and the price has been reduced accordingly. Due to the size of the order, we allowed ourselves to include one additional item in the shipment. I trust you'll find a use for it. I look forward to our future cooperation. Mark Jeremiah Habasiowitz, Client Services. Local supporter and concerned citizen. Oh, this is this is some of the shit, okay. From Kristen Lynch to Jefferson Perales campaign. Dear Team Perales, I'm a huge Jeffernut, and I can assure you his words are reaching the ears and hearts of voters. The campaign you're running on the net is making me the most excited for a candidate that I've ever been, especially your campaign site. Keep up the great work. However, one thing that has me concerned and I haven't seen a solution for in your policy positions is the recent black blight that has infested our city schools. This issue is very near and dear to me and I would be grateful if you would forward it on to Mr. Perales. Namely, does he intend to stop the recent flood of illicit black market brain dances into our schools? 
our children are being exposed to all sorts of disgusting and evil material at an age that is formative and critical to their personal growth in decent, into decent citizens. Now, I've done my homework, and I know the research has proven the addictive nature of BDs. In adolescence, sometimes it just takes one braid dance to get them hooked. As a community, we need to act now. We need a mayor who will think of the children before they grow up and fill this city with a mass of neurotic, lust-driven, hyper-violent animals. Best regards, Kristen Lynch, Night City's number one Jeffernut. My God. All right. Huh. I wonder if, like, there's really no way to tell from this, like, the validity of what this person is saying, right? Like, is it, like, <laughs> like, on the one hand, I'm like, yeah, that seems really bad, because there's some really fucking bad, like, black market brain dads and stuff. But I guess if they're black market, yeah. Because my other instinct was to be like, oh, this is like, um like any sort of scare that happens, right? Like with video games or rap music or rock and roll music going even further back, you know. But it, it seems, I don't know, if they're black market ones, at least from our experience, the black market ones are genuinely fucked up, right? They are genuinely super fucked. Okay. Let's see, let's get out of that. Stick the mail wire, oh, whoops. Just tap F. There we go. Put my wiggling hand right into the monitor. Weird that we do it through the monitor, but hey. We nail one asshole to the wall and another rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Oh, sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Anything over here? Nah, I think we're good. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I don't know the politics of these politicians, really. Right? So I can't really make a, a decent judgment call. It sounds... My feel of it so far. Right? And I don't know how it pans out, but it feels very, like... Very much like the game is playing it, like, both sidesy, right? Like, ugh politics, right? That, like, there's no there's no escape from anything. Like, it's just shit all the way down. Right? It, it takes a very cynical point of view, I would say. Right? I don't know. Like I said, it's just difficult to parse given, like, we don't know any of the actual politics of the politicians that are in the game. At least at this point. Either that, or I've forgotten them. Because we've just been through so much shit. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, no, wait, there's another computer here. No, not one we can interact with. Fair enough. Oh, that's a door. <laughs> All right, I'm like a bird. You did it, V. Just got word that virus is blazing toward the servers like a fucking asteroid. Prim work. Thanks. Closing the gig. All right. Let's see. Should we go and do some of these easy-ass things around here? I'm thinking we should, right? Like, this one is super-duper close. Let's do it. We could probably reach it by just jumping and all that, right? Rather than taking an actual road over there. I feel like that would be the quickest route. Okay. Down here. Good. All right, up and around. Good, because by doing this, we can just forego a lot of bullshit. All right, who are we dealing with over here? Sixth Street. Yeah, I mean, now I remember. It's a damn risky move, that. Eh? All right. Now we're talking that sort of scratch. I could think about it. Let's just fucking go. Boom! You dodged Super jump. Off! Super landing. There we go. Oh wait, you're a friendly. 
It, was it just three dudes? Oh, this wasn't even the encounter yet. <laughs> These were just dudes out here. All right. Oh God, their vehicle's gonna like blow up any second now. So of course, let's put a body inside. Get that sweet XP. There we go. Love that. Okay, over here. Ooh, what a weird noise. But look, there's an epic. I like that. Let's see. Boom. Get you. Ooh, they're tearing me up. Some healing going on. Should probably take cover here. Good. There we are. The one two punch. Target wounded. Careful of that explosive. We gotta level up, I think, there. I love that the reload is different depending on how many shells you've expended. She's hit. Cool. Love it. Alright. Here. Take your shit. Good. Yeah, because we do extra melee damage against dudes who are, like, staggered or knocked down, right? Upgrade components. There we are. Good, good, good. Oh. Conversation between Bernie Malcolm and Billy Jackson. What's up, Choom? Get your shit and go to the junkyard. You gotta wipe whatever was left of my car. Choom, they'll wreck it there. Whole point of a junkyard. Just look, just go. Got a tip from an NCPD Choom. They're sending some gonk to go check the car out. Anyways, if it's still there, you know what to do. Fucking Badge has got it in for me. Dump you. Here we go. Okay. Take your weapon. So these were... Oh, these were security guards. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Okay. These were not 6th Street. So I guess over there, that was them. Is that the idea? Hmm. Who's this dude? Reinforced Ballistic Vest. Lexington. Okay. Biohaznade. Conversation between NCPD yada yada and NCPD yada yada. Officer 984003 reporting. Head to the junkyard and grab the onboard computer from Billy Jackson's vehicle. But hurry, before they destroy everything. Our rocker boy went for a drunk joyride on the sidewalk. Hit a crowd of people. Now we need something to put him behind bars. Real fucking artist. Tone deaf hack couldn't even fucking sing. Nothing I hate worse than those fuckers. They hum a little tune and think they can do whatever the fuck they want. Well, here's your chance to show, to show Jackson he ain't above the law. Go to the junkyard. Roger that. On my way. And this was the dude. Alright. Ooh, shit. I'm, like, sliding. Ooh. I'm not even... No inputs on my... <laughs> on my keyboard or anything. There we go. We were, like, skiing on someone's bod. Alright. There we are. Let's see, there's a green item around here. There you are. Good. Any bod depositories? Here's one. There we go. Stuff you inside. Dude was almost as big as the fucking car. Alright. Good. Let's see. Now, should we check in with Takamura? I'm not sure. It may be re relatively time consuming, so maybe we'll just hit up a few more side quests in this area. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. Let's see. Over here, grab all these. Okay, what have we got? Ooh, it's up top. Holy shit, it's way up top. 
Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's NCPD. I can't fuck with them unless I want to... Oh, fuck. What's this? Oh, what is all this? Oh my god. Okay. It's free XP is what it is. There we go. Over here. Boom. Got them all. Okay. Let's see. Shitload of money. Some shorts. Is that what they were fighting over? A package of shorts? These cargo pants are mine. No, they're mine. I'm gonna fucking shoot you with my pistol. No, you aren't. I'm gonna shoot you back with my shotgun. And I'm gonna fucking rip a major fart on you. <laughs> also, also, these people keep fucking us in the ass. They're, they got a real hard on for fucking us in the ass or something like that. <laughs> That's how your cyberpunk dialogue would go. <laughs> You're just like, these chums are horny. Their, their wanguses are enormous. Look out. Ah, my cargo shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Alright, over here. Look, the thing is still showing up on our map. Except with that. Huh. Oh, look, can we stash a bot inside the toilet unit? Oh, really? We can't? What a shocker. Okay. Oh. What the fuck did I do to that body? Hang on. Oh, okay. There you are. What the hell happened to the... <laughs> Can I put a bot inside of this? Yeah, there we go. Dump bot. Good. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, yeah, it's still going off on our map there. That's probably not great, but what can you do? Okay, let's try and reach this thing somehow. Yeah, it's at the top of the building. What the heck? Hmm. Hopefully there's going to be some kind of elevator or whatever up there. Oh. Call from El Capitan again, hey, hacking the hacker. Got a serious gig, which means I'll be needing a serious merc. Want you to hop to 6th Street turf and graft a virus onto their tech. Counting on you, champ. Oh, and one last thing. There's this techie, Lucius Thorin. And I wouldn't mind if he got a piece of lead to the skull. You dig? Good. Specs attached. Hmm. Let's give it a read. Let's see. Gig type, Agent Saboteur. Objective, inject 6th Street computer with a virus. Location, 6th Street hideout on MLK Boulevard. Details. Those boys and girls from 6th Street think they got wicked smarts. That they can jump a Militech transport in my hood without me knowing about it. They think they can crack corpo weapons and tip the balance of power in this city to their favor. It's time they got a rude awakening. I'll snap you the location of the 6th Street hideout and the door code. Job simple. Find a way in, look for the comp they use to jailbreak corpo tech, upload the virus. I'll supply you, I'll supply to you, and voila. Their fancy new weapon melts into a sparkly new slag heap. One more thing. If you happen to find a Lucius Thoran, 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 do me a favor and make his ass disappear, will ya? Thoran's a techie. Came up with this gonk plan, which makes him a real thorn in my ass. Pun intended. Stay safe and have fun. Okay, so we're explicitly encouraged to go in here, like, beating ass in a major way. Oh, look, yeah, the pellet count on this is actually fewer. Yeah, because this is, yeah, this is only 10. But the Satara is 14. Huh. Okay. Well, we don't have any mods in either of them. Alright. Let's sell it off. It's worth a shit ton. Yeah, some of these guns just have ridiculous values on them. Alright. Let's see. Get rid of all these. There we are. No mods on any of them. 
Okay. Good, good, good. Thank goodness for these weird little drop points where you can just sell stuff off. I guess I'm assuming that it's like us in contact with the fixers or whatever. Right? Is that the idea? They're like, this is like dead drops for fixers and all that, and they'll just reimburse us later or some shit? I'm assuming that's the idea. Okay. These dudes are 6th Street over here. Ain't the America I fought for. Let's see. Do a quick save. Romanticore. There we are. Good. Okay. Up through here. It's Big Burrito XXL. How big can our burritos get? This guy thinks they're huge. He smokes with dynamite. He's cool as shit. Health warning. We love guns in our family. We love two things in our family. Guns and getting pregnant. The Second Amendment is not only for the rich. Get a big fucking gun and shoot the shit out of people. It's the American way. Try the new CRISPR. It burns people when you shoot them. <laughs> oh look, we're up so high where it's a hostile area up here. No fly zone. Alright. Next time you fuck something up. Seriously? How far back you want me to go? We're just gonna get them. <laughs> I'm sneaky. Uh-oh. Am I about to be detected? Am I about to be detected? I'm safe. I'm sneaky. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I killed the man. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what can you do? <laughs> I tapped the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't go in this one? Oh, I can. Sneaky maneuver. There's a, there's a dude in here. Just fucking high out of his mind. Oh, you're not a hostile? Oh, you're just, you just live here. Okay. Let's see, what have you got? Why be me? Confessions of a brain dance addict. Aviators. Pop a door. Okay. Ashtray. That door's locked. It's locked. What have we got? Max stock. Looks like a big old jug of aloe vera flavored juice. Alright. Disinfectant. Just some weird trash stuff. I just love picking up trash. Everywhere I go, I just suck up everyone's trash. Okay. Let's get out of here. Wait, how do you even leave this person's house? Is this the only exit? Yeah. Okay. I like this, like, sneaky music, though. Some of the sneaky music I quite enjoy, like in a major way. We'll go up because you know what? When you're going up top, you can always easily get back down. Not so much the other way, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They see me, dude! Okay. Or do they? Yeah, they must. Ooh. There we go. Nailed it. You'll never find me. I'm the sneaking dude. Alright. Let's take all this. There we go. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to play gorilla arms, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm in a fucking mood, I guess. Let's see. Messages. Time to clear out. From Lyle McClintock to Ryder Kent. Ryder, the NCPD just announced that your street has been put on red alert. There's some kind of shootout. Pack whatever you can't live with, without, and come to mind before 6th Street pays you a visit. If things get really dicey, I can call you a Delamade. Let me know. Stay sharp. Forever young. Are you tired of getting older? Why don't you buy this cream and rub it on your body? It'll make you feel like you are a baby again. 
It's forever young. And it's for everyone. I'll make it quick. Except babies. <laughs> Look at this. Adam Jensen came through here. Oh shit. Technical ability. Oh god, I'm like stun locked. Okay. Boom. In we go. Access granted. Alright. Nothing over here. Oh shit. Pop this thing open. Oh shit, Hacker Man. Bring light on our boys! Boom! Oh shit. You get fucked up over here, dude. I think it's this guy. Please don't blow that shit up next to me! Ooh. Oh, I went down. Boom. I've done it. No, no, no. Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. Alright. There's a mega robot here. Let's rip it. Oh, I'm gonna rip it. Oh, my favorite gun. There we go. Down here. Give him a taste of war, boys. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh my god! Here Fuck! Go. Okay. Look at all these holes and everything, huh? Okay. Jesus, this takes forever. Faster with gorilla arms. Boom. Let's turn this thing off. And let's run on up here. Hit. Oh. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> That's so outrageous that that can even happen. Alright. There we go. Like, I like it a lot. It's really fucking goofy that they can trip over their own bodies and shit, but... I don't know, it feels a little a little cheaty on my end. <laughs> they just fall over. Good god. Oh look, there's some goodies over here. There we are. What is it? Ah, some glasses and a shit ton of money. Ah, a secret path if you didn't want to jump. Alright, what's this? Thornton, owner's manual. We've seen a million of those. Alright, pants. Other stuff. An LMG. Is it better than my current one? It is! Oh look, it's got some, like, Gucci looking shit on it. <laughs> look at this! Huh. Alright. Devastating Berserk. Ugh, your leg. I guess I did that. Okay. We still haven't seen this guy that we're looking for though, have we? Or maybe we already wiped them out. Fuck, I guess I don't know. For all I know, this is the dude. Wasn't he wearing like a bandana in the picture? I don't remember anything. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We killed them all. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess it works. Okay, take all that. Lovely. Stash you in the bod stash. Pew! Give me that stealth XP. I'm sneaky as hell. Oh, wait, can I take your bod too? Yep. There we go. Boom. Okay. Look at this. They're working on one of the floaty drones. Okay. Where's our objective? Upstairs. Good, good. Oh, look. Yeah, there's a bunch of loot loot up here we have not yet tended to. Do we got bod storage up here? Huh, I don't know that we do. Let's see. Anything in here? Nope, let's just dump them. Oh shit. I gotta press E. Activate my berserkers mode. Alright, what have we got up top here? Anything good? 
It was where we jumped over. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Alright, let's head back down. Let's grab all that other loot. Champagne bucket. Alright. In here. And what have we got? All this stuff. Ooh, another shotgun. Is it better than my current one? Ooh, it is! But it has one less mod slot, so it ends up being not the case. Okay, anything here? Sound of Easton prototype chip. While Sound of Easton is active, increases crit chance by 5%. Ooh! Okay. Take all your bods. Cargo Sh manifest, I guess? Theseus turret times four, moth drone RHT one times four, a basilisk stinger launcher times one. Huh. Saratoga SMGs ten, Ajax M251s five. Okay. Just some random shit. Oh god. There we go. What's this? Huh. An epic scope. Anything over here? The Max Tack Way by Matthias Maddox. I don't think we've read this. Okay, over here. Let's see what they've got on here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Put the malware in. Yep. There you go. Take some of that. By the end of this game, my body's just gonna be 90% malware. That's even before Johnny. Alright. He's the other 10%. <laughs> Crafting components. Alright. I think we got everything. Seems that way. Is there something secret inside there? Is this like an inaccessible room? No. But we did miss out on that. Can hear another camera. I think it's another camera. Eh, I don't know where it's at. Maybe it was a monitor. There we go. And leave the hideout. Okay. Cool. Neat. I'm surprised there are more quests that take place in these mega buildings like this. Right? Because you can easily use the elevator to, like, instance it. You know? Okay. I guess it'll probably get tiresome, right? If you just took a whole bunch of quests and all that. Like, Radiant quests taking you over to various mega buildings. But there aren't Radiant quests in this game, are there? Yeah, there's no, like, repeatable Radiant quests or whatever the like. Huh. Weird. I'm s Honestly, I'm surprised there isn't, right? Maybe they had to cut it. Shit, I don't know. I guess Witcher didn't have them. I don't know. Who, who are you? Oh, shit. They're here to fucking get me, dude. Profesh as ever. Sixers will think twice before sliding their gunk asses anywhere near my turf again. And that thing with Lucia Thoran? <laughs> Cherry on top. Contract Yeah, I totally got him. <laughs> he was just collateral. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Sorry, forgot I left a little bonus for you at the nearest drop point. No need to thank me. Okay. I don't think he forgot, though, in that, that audio. Okay. Let's see. Let's collect. Hacking the hacker. I got six grand in total. See, it's... I don't know. The bonus completion stuff really doesn't seem all that worth it. Especially if it's like, don't kill anyone. Because you get so much more money. Especially at higher levels. From just looting them. Right? If the idea is to avoid killing them. Okay. Well, let's see. You know what? I think maybe we do a little bit of reading here. You know what? I think that's a good move. Let's see. Check our journal shards. Let's see. What should we read here? 
How about... Oh, look, there's the NCPD thing. Yeah, we never read that before. Okay, let's give it a go. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink here before we begin reading. Sorry about that. <clears throat> NCPD, Anatomy of a Disaster. This won't be the kind of book that's full of eloquent phrases or elaborate metaphors. I'm not a writer. I'm a cop. <laughs> or rather, I was a cop before the mass redundancies. I'm not writing this for money or fame. I'm writing it because I'm pissed off and won't stay silent while the NCPD goes to ruin. Before you say anything, I know we weren't perfect. Night City has never been a safe city, but we tried. As God is my witness, we really tried to keep our city safe, even while we lacked the money, people, and equipment we so desperately needed. The mayor could... So is Max Tech not affiliated with NCPD? How does that even work? Like, even not saying that, they seem definitely well-equipped, right? Like, this seems so incongruous with, like, what we actually see of them. I don't know. Hmm. The mayor couldn't have cared less. He wanted to cut costs. Apparently, the NCPD wasn't profitable, he said at a press conference, a day after seven of us were killed by a cyber psycho in Vista del Rey. Hey, I think we went there and saw that. Then, why not privatize it? That very same day, the NCPD was transferred into private ownership, all according to plan. Oh. Our new chief of police, previously the head of the data term sales department, cared only about one thing, money. He fired half the force, cut down the number of patrols, and ordered those working the streets to drop everything and start writing tickets. It didn't take long to see the effects. The city's crime rate went through the roof, Bodies clogged the alleyways, and the sidewalks were painted red with blood. Meanwhile, the suits at Corpo Plaza were popping champagne and celebrating. Why? Because the demand for private security services had increased by a thousand percent. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Very strangely written, right? As if it's... It's ignorant to... That even... <laughs> even, like, government-sanctioned police forces... <laughs> like, like, yeah, the, the walls were painted red with blood and bodies were clogging the alleyways. But from the read of, like, other tidbits of information, beforehand, it was also just the NCPD doing the clogging and painting, right? I don't know. A little copaganda y Okay, let's see. What was the other one that we wanted to read? Huh. Like, these things between the Militech people. Hmm. Apparently we hadn't read them? I don't think that's the case. Okay, going down here. Maybe we should read this. It's info on the Relic 2.0. I would have liked the other one. I forgot what it was even about, but it had a... It was about Militech, wasn't it? Maybe we already read that, though. First aid kit. Huh. Yeah. Okay. There really should be a search function, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It was something to do with Militech. I guess maybe we already read it then. Either that or I'm just skipping over it. There's a Militech conversation we haven't read. All right, yeah, let's just read uh, Relic 2.0 Prototype Specifications. Where did we even find this at? This seems especially important. Maybe we got this from Hellman? All right, top secret, clearance level P0, P-O, declassification date N-A, project code M-A-H-76, uh, yada yada. Project Supervisor Anders Hellman, approved by Saburo Arasaka, project name Relic 2.0. Base algorithm, soul killer. Version yada yada, relic 1.0, secure your soul. Preliminary review, project summary. Unlike relic 1.0, the latest version of the biochip prototype is not only designed to store a digitized engram for basic communication, 
but also an enhanced personality construct capable of independent function and re-implantation into a new organic host body. Relic 2.0's improved personality construct preserves the vast majority of the primary subject's cognitive and virtualized motor functions. Preliminary testing shows emotional output at 75% conformity levels. Note we are only concerned with the construct's matrix coherence, not with its perceived authenticity. While volition fluctuates at 80-90% to 90 conformity. The success of the improved Ingram is largely owed to the use of experimental polyglycol structures as well as new synthetic granule neuron replicators within pseudomatrices, see section yada yada. A precondition of activating the Relic 2.0 is the ceasing of the host's vital functions, brain death, cardiac arrest. Only complete and irreversible shutdown of neural activity can allow the Ingram to root itself and take over the body, i.e. reboot. Clinical trials using the subjects on the verge of biological death have proven unsuccessful in activating the Relic 2.0's basic functionality. Interesting, because that's what happened to us. We were on the verge of biological death, but... Yeah, their clinical trials proved it to be unsuccessful. In cases where subjects underwent biological death, upon taking root, the biochip showed promising signs of initial activity prior to lapsing. Identifying the causes of failure, despite fulfilling all technical requirements, is the first step to achieving a breakthrough, i.e. complete activation of the Relic 2.0's construct in a suitably prepared organic host body. Full description see section yada yada. Huh. Uh, in cases where subjects underwent biological death, upon taking root, the bioship showed promising signs of initial activity prior to lapsing. Interesting. So they had success when the subject did die. This ties back into like our wild ass theory earlier that we might actually be dead, right? that were just kept alive via some weird interactivity with the chip, right? Because we did get shot in the head, right? Hmm. But this also says that eventually the biochip will lapse? Promising signs of initial activity prior to lapsing. Yeah, and that's referring to the biochip. Huh. So could V technically come out of this A-OK? -okay? Weird. Okay. I guess this is what we got when we met up with Hellman? I'm assuming? Because it's pretty wild if we if we got it elsewhere, huh? <laughs> Alright. Sure. Well, you know what? Hey, when next we come back, we'll be raring to go for some more shit. Maybe I'll have leveled up, sold off some stuff here. We'll definitely hit up uh, Takamura after all this, right? Because we probably want an entire video dedicated to all that quest. <laughs> I'm assuming it'll be quite the event because we got the whole parade thing, right? Taking out snipers or whatever he said. All right. Yeah. Until next time. Oh, hey, look. That's the dude. That's the dude we did the propaganda shit for. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.